so I'm gonna go ahead and do an April favorites video and I know it's kind of in the middle of May but that's not that long ago right <laughs> and I just want to show you guys some of my favorites lately so let's get started here I have this style haul beauty sampler box and basically it's full of a whole bunch of like beauty related goodies and in this month's box they actually have like full size items in here so I'll include a link below for you to check out all the stuff that I got in this month's box but um, some of my favorites this month are the Arcona Cranberry Gommage it's an exfoliator and basically it says it purifies, cleanses, tones, and decongests in large pores and I feel like it's really important to um, exfoliate at least once or twice a week just to get rid of all of your whatever whatever's been collecting in your pores throughout the week whether it's makeup or even other skincare products just to make sure you kind of purify and cleanse and I felt like this here did a really good job of doing that because like when I had it on my skin and rubbed it in all the beads like I don't know the way it felt I could tell it was doing its job and then afterwards my skin felt super soft so um, this here has been an item I've used like weekly another thing I really like that came in this month's box is the Laura Geller or Geller I think it's Geller and it's the baked body frosting all over face and body glow and Tahitian glow and basically it's just kind of like a bronzer that's what I use it for and you can use it for you know all over your body if you want but I mainly use it for a face bronzer. What I like about it is it's a subtle glow, a hint of color, and it's not super kicky or anything like that. And it's not orange at all. It's a very natural looking um, bronzer. And I like to just put it on my under my cheekbones and along the sides of my face and my jawline and on my chest and neck just to add a little bit of color and warmth to my face. Another thing I've been loving from this month's box, Bliss Fabulips uh, Pout-O-Matic, and basically it's like a lip exfoliator, so it's like electric, or actually it's battery powered, but all you do is like press this button and then it like exfoliates your lips and then it comes with like a sugar lip scrub. So I like this because I hate having chapped lips, so this here exfoliates really well so that way my lips are extra voluminous looking and not as dry and chapped as I usually get so I like having this here and also lip products like lipsticks and lip glosses go on a lot smoother and that's another thing I hate is putting a lipstick on dry cracked lips because it just does not stay on well and does not look right at all so exfoliating has definitely been a thing I've been doing a lot more of lately and I can tell it's helping a lot so this is another product I love and if you want to check out any of the products I have mentioned or any other products I've had in this month's box, be sure to check out the description below where you can check all that out and buy any products you want to try out. Also, from May 14th to May 18th, all products will be 20% off, so be sure you check that out to take advantage of that discount. And I've always used drugstore like foundations. I've used the Revlon Color Stay liquid foundation for the longest time. But lately I've been having problems with my skin, like I said. And because of that, my foundation hasn't been going on as smoothly. I've been breaking out a lot more and also my skin's been drying out a lot more. So my foundation was caking up in areas and wasn't going on very well. And so I decided that I wanted to try to renew all of my products for our skincare and face products so like foundations lotions um face washes so i tried out the mac foundation because i've heard a lot of good things about this here it's the mac studio fix fluid spf 15 broad spectrum spf 15 i just said that twice but yeah it's the shade nc20 and i can tell a huge difference in the way it goes on compared to my Revlon color stay where it would cake up in places I'd break out. This here, it covers up my like acne scars is a big issue I have. My acne scars really well and discolorations. And I thought that MAC foundations and MAC makeup in general was really, really expensive. But actually compared to like my Revlon color stay, that a bottle of that is about $16. A bottle of this was just over $20. So it isn't that much of a difference and I feel like the quality is a lot better. So I just want to invest in skincare stuff just because my skin is something that you know I want to take care of. Eyeshadow and stuff I don't care about as much but I know for sure skin is something I want to make sure I keep healthy and use the best products on. So I have been loving this and I've been using, been using it for a couple weeks now and I definitely can tell a difference. So along with a higher end liquid foundation, I went ahead and 
Got some Sigma brushes, and this one here has been one I've used every single day, and it's the Sigma, Sigma Duo Fiber and F50. And basically, it's just a stippling brush, and it's really good for an airbrush finished um, look if you're using foundation. I like how you can use this for your foundation and your concealer. Just an overall, just whenever I put on my foundation and concealer, I just dab it all on areas of my face, and I just use this to blend it all out. And it's just... It works all together. Next are some eyeshadows and they're from a brand called Colourpop and it's a new brand and basically they sell eyeshadows that are made in a minimal cruelty free. They don't test on animals at all so that's another good thing and they're affordable. Each one of these is only five dollars so I went ahead and got a few of these and I love the colors. So I got a lot of neutral colors because I don't go too crazy on eyeshadow colors. I like to mainly use browns and rounds really not like crazy colors because I want to be able to wear them you know on an everyday basis so I got these ones here. Next I have a lotion I've been using so since my skin has been drying out a lot lately I've been using the First Aid Beauty Ultra Repair Cream and helps hydrate dry parched skin and irritations and there's no parabens, harsh chemicals or colorant. When I put it on it like immediately absorbs it and it's not oily at all so I like using this before I put my foundation on just for an overall just hydration of my skin and I can just let it soak and it's all good and my skin is super soft afterwards and I just put foundation on. So this is a good base when you want to just hydrate your skin without having it be all oily or anything. Next product is actually a jewelry piece and right now it kind of looks like chains and yeah but on it looks really good. This is a thigh chain and I've been looking for jewelry and I saw this on Etsy actually and I thought it was super cute and I thought with the short season coming up and you know the weather starting to warm up and all that I want to be able to wear some jewelry that might be a little different. I thought a thigh chain would be that because you just put it on and it makes any pair of shorts just look extra cute. Next I have a lotion and actually I have a body spray with it too but it's just the scent in general that I have been loving so much. This is like my everyday scent. It's the Sexy Dahlia Rush um, from Bath and Body Works and I actually think they just continued this. I got this on clearance for like 75% off so it was only like $3. It has like a little hint of vanilla, it says velvet plum, um, juicy red currant, jasmine, and of course dahlia. So it's like a good balance of kind of sweet and fruity without being too fruity and still a little bit floral too. I've gotten a lot of compliments when I wear this so I got a couple bottles of lotions and a couple body sprays too of this scent because it smells so good. Next thing I have is actually a pair of shoes and these are these boots I got from California but they're from H&M. And I just love these so much. I don't know. They just... Ow! <laughs> they're so heavy. That's the only thing. They're really heavy and they're kind of like a canvasy material which makes them look super cool. But also it makes them stain really easily which kind of sucks. But I really like the way they look and they go with a lot of different outfits. And they're super comfortable despite being like really high. I like the look of heeled boots because they make my legs look super long. And if you watched my um, Out for the Week in California video, I wore these in one of my outfits. And I just love the way they look. So, yeah. And then lastly, I have an app I actually featured in my What's in My iPhone video. And it's called Shoebox. Basically, it's for people that take a lot of pictures on their phone and always end up running out of memory which is me and it happens all the time and I hate it because I constantly am taking, taking pictures and I run out of memory and then I can't take more pictures so I either have to just deal with it or delete all my pictures that I want to keep which sucks so bad so I found this app that actually backs up all your pictures and saves them kind of like on a database type of thing. You can look through all your old pictures saved onto the app through your phone or you can even go online and they save all your pictures. So I really like that because that way I always have a lot of memory on my phone for pictures or whatever I want to have on my phone. Um, you should check that out. It's also free which is always good too. And I don't know if you can see but I kind of have been spending a lot of time decorating my room. and. Uh, in the back right there, I have some dream catchers and I just love them. I'll show you a close up. This is what they look like and they're just super pretty. Like they're not your typical dream catchers. That one has like a crochet and there's like stones and beads. Shut up.
And yeah, I like having decorated my room to like kind of a boho look. I have like elephant stuff and a lot of patterns and flowers. So that's definitely a video I will be doing in the future, a room tour. I'm not quite done yet, but it definitely has changed a lot in the past couple of weeks. So I can't wait to show you guys. And yeah, um, that's basically it though. I hope that out of all the things I just talked about, maybe something sparked your interest or maybe I could have helped you out find something. I don't know. But I hope you enjoyed. Thank you for watching. And yeah, don't forget to like and comment for more videos. Also, if you have any video suggestions, be sure to comment below with that as well. But yeah, that's basically it. Um, thanks for watching. I hope you're having a wonderful day and bye.